Both athletes will come off the front leg. Trying to get the measure, jabbing out. There we go. Ali did go higher sooner. She's moving around to the Korean opponent. Jabbing that kick out. Kim again, slower start. I'm trying to hook up to the body. Kim comes off the back leg twice. Didn't quite get the range right. China jabbing the kicks out, trying to use the Koreans' weight against her as she's moving in. Still both working off the front leg predominantly. Cautious start as we'd expect in the final. Both opponents trying to get the measure, get the range right, look for openings and weaknesses. Li Zhao Yi does seem to be the stronger of the two, but that was the case in the last semi final for Kim when, against Bogdanovic. Starts off pretty slow in that first round. Headshot there by Lee. Neither athlete finding a way through yet the defences the opponent is yet. So pretty much what we'd expect in this first final court to start. Both athletes coming off the front leg. That was a headshot attempt. Just fell short of the target. From the angle we write, could have been a video replay, but the Chinese coach opting to hold on to that card. She might prove vital later on. Definitely using the IVR instant video replay card. Is a skill. It takes good observational skills by the coaches and sometimes good tactical skills. We've seen it in previous Grand Prix where the card has been played just to delay the match to give an athlete time to recover. So Lee of China coming forwards more. Definitely looks a more proactive. But Kim's very, very deceptive. <laughs> now the Koreans started to be more active. <laughs> Referee let, chose to let them play there in that exchange, but they did seem to be holding. He's trying to make sure that Kim doesn't take the initiative. You can see she's starting to be a little bit more mobile now, following the same pattern that we saw in the semi-final. The Chinese athlete, Zhao Yi Li, very senior, experienced athlete. She took bronze medal at the first Grand Prix back in Manchester in 2013. They did well to stay in the court. And Lee takes the first point in that exchange and a second. Clear <laughs> takes it back to tie the score.
too close to call at this stage. Chinese athlete did look stronger, but that's the case in the semi-final. The crane just keeps working, tries to back kick. But Lee was moving in too much. So the Korean athlete full of surprises, did that back kick counter. This time mismeasured it. But Shannon thinks that she is capable of performing these more advanced kicks rather than just the full fencing. That's that exchange of kicks where sort of both players are holding on to each other. No points were scored. Referee tried to give them the time to fight their way out of it, but in the end separating them by declaring Kalio. So one point each as we start the third round. Me from China in blue, Kim from Korea in red. And I expect a cautious start with some explosions of action. Kim's following a very similar pattern. Lee goes high there, but the Korean stays out of range. So the Korean's tactics are very much the same as she played in the semi-final. Expect a lot more activity from her in this last round. And the headshots in the back kicks possibly coming through. There she goes with a headshot off the front leg. Well out of range though. Kick into the body there. Not sufficient impact to score by China. Lee goes high. Brace Kimmel gets the counter kick, and she did so. They'll be frustrated about that. It's last less than a minute, and all of a sudden she's behind. It's exactly the same strategy that Kim used in the semi-final. Can Lee do something about it? Kim moving around now, looking very, playing very defensive, trying to work an opponent. They try the punches, but they're not strong enough to score. Kim takes another one in that exchange. Maybe that punch did score. Lee will be incredibly frustrated by this. Dominated exactly the same as Bogdanovic did in the semi final. Less than 20 seconds now. Tries a back kick. That'll make all the difference. Get Kyongo there for the Korean. First one. She'll be moving around. She won't be too bothered. Oh, that's the second one. So just a one point difference with seven seconds on the clock. The counting down. Coming through. Can Lee get a point back? No, she can't. Kim played exactly the same tactics and strategy that she'd done in the semi-final against Bogdanovic. She looked the slower and the weaker of the two players, but does enough to defeat Zhao Yili of China. Ah, Zhao Yili must be very frustrated with that. But that was clever tactical play by Kim Soo-hee of Korea.